Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the restore the array from adjacent pairs. It is a lead code medium and the number for this is 1743. So in this question we were given with an integer array nums consisting of n unique elements but now we have forgotten the, those elements. What were those elements? All we have now is a adjacent pairs of size n minus 1 where uh, adjacent pairs uh, of i consist of u, u1 and v1 and u1 and v1 are the elements of nums and it is also given that it may appear in any order like you can see here it is given that uh, every pair of element nums of i and nums of i plus 1 can uh, exist either as nums of i and i plus 1 or i plus 1 and i that means there is no order in the pairs so we have to construct the original array nums from uh, the given adjacent pairs so the problem involves the reconstructing of the original array from the adjacent pairs and uh, we also know that every element in the original array is unique but the order is not given so these were the main points which we have to consider now to solve this question we can create a mapping of each element to its adjacent element using a dictionary and uh, we iterate through the adjacent pairs and uh, building this mapping and also we'll find the starting element because the starting element will have only uh, only one adjacent pair not two and the left one will not be given in the question like you know for the starting pair let's say one there will be only one adjacent pair that is two not uh, on the left hand side so we will f uh, try to find the adjacent pair uh, which has only one so it will be so from that we can guess the starting index and uh, from then we can start constructing our array so let's take an example we were if we had an uh, uh, input array something like minus three one four and two so first of all we would take a pair pairs would uh, actually be a dictionary uh, dictionary of integer to store the like initial and the final index left and the right so you can see we, are, we will iterate through the adjacent pairs that is the given pairs uh, array and then from that we can guess 2 is adjacent to 4 and 3 we can see 2 is adjacent to 4 and 3 which is correct 1 is adjacent to minus 3 and 4 1 is adjacent to minus 3 and 4 Similarly, 3 has adjacent to 2 and uh, this is minus infinity. 4 will be adjacent to 1 and 2. Yes, true. And uh, minus 3 will be adjacent to 1 and uh, minus infinity. So from this we can guess that uh, minus 3 was actually the starting index. So we have uh, now find out the starting index. Now after finding the starting index, we can start constructing the array. So we start from minus 3 we see what comes next so next comes 1 so we have taken 1 so after choosing 1 we see that uh, 1 is adjacent to minus 3 and 4 so minus 3 was already there so we'll add 4 so 4 is added now for 4 the new value will be 2 which will be added because uh, 4 was adjacent to 1 and 2 so 2 is added and similarly at the last 3 is added so in this manner we are constructing the entire array once again so coming to the code you can see the code uh, today I am not uh, writing the code one by one because it may make the video very long so I will explain you once what the code is so it is a map of integer to uh, integer array it is actually pairs we will store the pair in this like what is adjacent to what as i told you so this functionality this functionality will be implemented through this pairs and we are doing the same thing we are iterating to the given adjacent pairs uh, and uh, uh, we are storing it in the pairs like uh, we are checking if it already exists then we store otherwise like we store minus infinity on the left and or the right you can get from this <clears throat> and uh, then after that we need to find the starting index so for the starting index first we'll define the result 
that we will use afterwards initially we have set the starting index to minus infinity and uh, we iterate through the map and uh, try to figure out which uh, value was having the left hand side uh, equal to minus infinity so we try to find out that and uh, then we take the starting index and after that we initialize the result of 0 with start because the starting element will be the first element so result of 0 initialize with start and then we uh, construct the entire array one by one with the because since we, we know the start and we know the adjacence of the starts and then the adjacent elements of other uh, upcoming elements so we can construct the array simply from this so this is the logic for that so you can take a screenshot of the code and you can also check my solution it is in the lead code where I've given the explanation also so thank you for watching the video have a nice day if, uh, I talk about the time complexity is O of n because we are iterating through the values one time and the space complexity is also O of n because we use an extra space pairs dictionary to actively and the result array so this was my solution please do like the video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel if you are new to the video thank you for watching the video have a nice day